Are you ready to challenge your visual memory? Let's go. Take a look at the following images and try to memorize them in detail. Can you find the correct fruit among these four options? This one. What about these four houses? The second one is correct. And now let's see if you can spot the right bottle. There it is. Great job. And now let's go ahead and make the task a little harder. Try to memorize these five objects. Can you find the correct flower among these four options? Although these flowers are the same purple color, only the second one matches the original. Can you recognize the lemon? It's this one. Let's see if you can find the right bag. There it is. What about the slippers? It's the first pair. You probably remember the original burger, don't you? There it is. Next round, try to memorize these five images. Can you find the correct mushroom among these five options? Well, hello. Let's see if you can find the correct berry. There it is. Let's try to spot the original ice cream. Only this one is correct. Can you find the original star among these five images? There it is. What about the bee? Can you see it? Oh, hi. Next round. Take a look at these images. Now let's try to find the original star among these six images. The first one. What about these six options? Can you see the correct flower? The fifth one is correct, but the second flower is from the previous task, so it may also seem familiar to your brain. Go ahead, can you find the bag? This one is correct. Does the third option remind you of something? This is the bag from the second round. Can you find the original house among these six images? There it is. What about these six options? Can you see the original cat? Here it is. Can you find the correct dog? It's the second one. Next challenge. Focus on these images and try your best to memorize the order. And now, let's close these images. Can you remember what's hidden under the third card? The bagel. What about the sixth card? The mug. What about the first card?
It's our B. Now, the second card. The candy. What's hiding under the fourth card? The socks. Can you remember what the fifth card hides? The shoe. Let's move on to the next challenge and try to memorize these images. Let's cover the images. Can you see through the fifth card? It's the ring. What can you say about the third card? The banana. What about the sixth card? It's the apple. Can you remember what image was under the first card? The book. What about the second card? It's the phone. Can you remember what image hides under the fourth card? The glasses. Great job. Next round. Okay, let's hide these images. Can you remember what's hidden under the sixth card? The sunflower. What about the first image? It's the orange. Can you guess what image is hiding under the fifth card? It's the cloud. What can you say about the third card? It's the glove. And what about the second one? The scissors. What image is under the fourth card? It's the flower. What can you say about the eighth card? It's the car. What about the seventh? The tree. Let's make this task a little harder. Try to memorize these 10 images. Let's close the images. Can you remember where the doctor is hiding? Over there. What about the rose? It's hiding under the seventh card. Can you find the hand? It's here. Let's try to find the strawberry. Hey! Next round, let's focus on these 10 images. Time's up. We're covering the images. Can you remember the correct location of the key? It's over here. Can you figure out where the swan is hiding? Behind the eighth card. What about the clover? Here it is. Let's try to find the mug. It's 
It's over there. What about the sun? It's behind the seventh card. And now, try to memorize these vegetables. Time's up. Let's hide them. Can you remember the correct location of the garlic? Right. Where is the corn hiding? It's under the sixth car. What about the pumpkin? It's over there. Where's the carrot? Under the fifth card. Do you remember where the onion is? It's under the seventh card. And what about the eggplant? Oh, there it is. Next round. You have just a few seconds to memorize the following images. And now let's hide them and try to figure out where the burger is. It's over there. Can you remember where the donut is? It's hiding under the third card. What about the pizza? It's over there. Where's the ice cream? It's hiding behind the eighth card. What about the cheese? Over there. Can you spot the sandwich? It's hiding under the ninth card. Great job! That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. First, I'm going to guess your height. All you have to do is answer a couple of yummy questions. And oh, keep track of your score. Pick your pizza shape and size. A. Just give me the real thing. Round and huge. B. I love those rectangular, smaller options. C. I always buy it by piece, so it's gonna be a triangle. D. A box of round mini pizzas, please. A brings you 30 points. B is worth 40 points. C is worth 10 points. And D is a 20-point option. What kind of toppings are you gonna add? A. Pepperoni for sure, plus some veggies. B. Mozzarella and tomatoes only. C. The more the merrier. D. It doesn't matter as long as it has a ton of arugula on top. If you went with A, add 40 points to your score. B brings you 20 points. Did you go with C? Add 10 points to your score. D is worth 30 points. What would you choose as a secret ingredient for your very own custom pizza? A. Sardines, because why not? B peanut butter instead of tomato sauce. Okay. C. Triple bacon. D. Pickles. If A is your choice, you'll get 20 points. B brings 30 points to your basket. C is worth 10 points. D tops up your score by 40 points. What would you never ever add to your pizza? A. Pineapples. A big no-no for me. B. Meat. I'm a vegetarian. C. Fish. That's just weird. D. Potatoes. Never. Would you rather go with A? You scored 30 points. B. 
B brings you 20 points. C is worth 10 points. D brings you 40 points. Now pick a sauce to dip the crust. A, garlic butter. B, tomato sauce only. C, anchovy sauce. D, I'm a cheese sauce kind of person. Want to go with option A? Here are your 20 points. B brings you 10 points. C is worth 40 points. D brings you 30 points. A new pizza place just opened in downtown. Want to give it a go? A. I don't drive anywhere for food. Sure, I'm starting the car. C. Nah, I'll wait for more people to go to hear the reviews. D. I have my favorite pizza place and I plan to stay true to it forever. If A sounds good to you, here are your 30 points. B is worth 40 points. C brings you 10 points. You get 20 points if D is your choice. Are you going to share your pizza with others? A. They can have one bite. B. Of course, my friends and I share everything. C. Never! D. Only if I can finish it. Did you go with A? 30 points for you. B is worth 20 points. C brings you 10 points. D is worth 40 points. Do you ever choose pizza by the box? A. Always. B. I don't pay attention to it. C. Only if it's something trendy. D. I prefer a carton with no logos. A gives you 10 points. B adds 40 points to your score. C is worth 30 points. D brings you 20 points. Time to do some math to see how many points you've got. If your final result is 80 to 140 points, it looks like you're on the petite side of life. By that, I mean 5 foot 4 and under. You're used to being treated as a gentle and sweet person, although you definitely have a lion's heart and can always stand up for yourself. If you've ended up somewhere between 150 and 210 points, I guess your height is between 5'5 five five and 5'9. Five it feels pretty comfortable as you stand, literally, with the vast majority of people. In case your final score is 220 to 270 points, I think your height is between 5'10 and 6'2. You're one of the taller friends in your group and you often have to watch out when the ceiling is too low. Is your final score somewhere between 280 and 320 points? You must be a basketball player. And you probably hear that phrase your entire life with a height over 6 foot 2. Sorry about that question. I feel you. Now, let's determine your age. The rule remains unchanged. You're super hungry and you can only pick one type of food. What's it going to be? A. French fries. B. Chicken wings. C. Hamburgers D. Donuts Those who chose french fries add 20 points to your score. Chicken wings brings you 10 points. Hamburger fans get 30 points. Donuts bring you 40 points, obviously. One burger, please. What can't you imagine yours without? A. Cheese. The more, the better. B. Pickles. They're perfect. C. Salad. D. Hmm. Only meat matters, really. Option A is worth 20 points. B adds 30 points to your basket. Option C is worth 40 points. D brings you 10 points. What will never, ever end up in your burger? A. Mushrooms. Yikes. B. Coleslaw. Too exotic for me. C. Pickles. D. Anything caramelized. If you went with option A, add 20 points to your score. Option B brings you 30 points. Option C is worth 10 points. Did you choose option D? Here are 40 points for you. Now, what sides are you going to go with? A. Crispy and delicious fried onion rings. 
B. How about some grilled corn? C. French fries, ketchup, mayo, all the regular stuff. D. Another burger. Onion rings brings you 10 points. Grilled corn is yummy and worth 40 points. The french fries option is worth 20 points. If you're hungry for another burger, add 30 points to your basket. Pick a milkshake taste. A. Make it a strawberry one with cookies and sprinkles on top. B. Chocolate for life, with more chocolate on top. C. I prefer smoothies to milkshakes. Sorry. D. How about some exotic taste? Mango! Option A brings you 10 points. B is worth 20 points. Those who went with option C get 40 points. D is worth 30 points. It's taco time. Pick one delicious option. A. Shrimp tacos. I love seafood. B. Quesadilla. Double beef, please. C. Anything with beans. I'm a fan. D. Nachos. I'll dip them in guacamole and be happy. Option A is worth 10 points. B brings you 20 points. C adds 30 points to your final score. And D gives you 40 extra points. Is your fast food meal going to be here or to go? A. I'm 100% a delivery kind of person. B. drive through only. C. I love eating my burgers surrounded by friends in loud and fun places. D. I'll literally eat it on the go. In case you went for option A, I've got 30 points for you. Option B brings you 20 points. Option C tops up your score by 10 points. Went with option D? Here, you get 40 points. Do you have room for dessert? A. Absolutely. Brownies, please. B. Does ice cream count as dessert? C. No, I'm full. D. Fruit only. Brownies people get 10 points. Ice cream brings you 30 points. No dessert means 40 points. Fruit is worth 20 points these days. Okay, it's time to do some math and determine your age. If you ended up with 80 to 120 points, looks like you're 19 or younger. You're curious, wild, ambitious, excited about everything in life, and eager to try new things. And oh, you're super emotional. Don't worry, many things aren't really worth it. Got somewhere between 130 and 170 points? I think you're 19 to 25. You recently got your first real job. You're trying to get everything done, and sometimes it's pretty tricky. Give yourself a break every now and then. Is your final score between 180 and 220 points? I can see you're between 26 and 30. You already have some life experience, and you know your limits. You're still learning to fully accept yourself and take good care of yourself, too. Go you! You deserve all the love. Those who ended up with 230 to 280 points, you guys must be 31 to 40. You know exactly what you want from life and you're enjoying it. There are things that make you happy, but you don't mind experimenting when you get a chance. In case your final score is 290 to 320 points, your wisdom is telling me you're 40 or older. You can tell the significant from the unimportant. You're caring and loving and other people come to you for advice because they know you won't let them down. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.